Hi everyone, it's Gina and I'm back with another video. I hope that you are all staying safe and staying well. I'm just here to share a few items that I received, actually that I got from the Dollar Tree on a few different occasions and I realized that I hadn't posted a Dollar Tree video in a while so I wanted to go ahead and share those with you. If you are new to my channel, again like I said my name is Gina, I upload quite a few, um, quite a variety of different videos. You'll see videos uh, with me and my nephew Eli and actually we just started a little project called uh, Elijah and Auntie G. So if you haven't seen those videos, I recommend that you go and watch them. They're, they're going to be a lot of fun. Um, they're not meant to be anything, you know, they're just meant to be a time when I can get together with my nephew and just have a little bit of fun. So I will go ahead and link a couple of those videos at the end of this one so you can have a chance to watch those as well. But if you are new to my channel, um, like I said, I do, I do upload a, a variety of content. I am an artist, I'm also an herbalist, so you'll see a variety of videos ranging you know, between those things. I also do um, Dollar Tree videos because I'm an avid Dollar Tree fan, and I'll bring you lots of different items from, from the Dollar Tree that will surprise you. I'll create different things with items from the Dollar Tree that will definitely shock you, and um, I just encourage you that, you know, if if there are a few things that you might have had on your your list and you're not sure whether you should get them or not, then I can probably help you out there as well because periodically I do reviews on different items that I would find at the Dollar Tree. All right, but without further ado, if you are new um, or if you've just been watching and you haven't decided whether you want to join my family or not, there's a lovely red button at the bottom. Just go ahead and click that and you'll be up, updated or notified whenever I upload new content. All right now let's get on with the show. Alright, so I don't know where to start because I have so many different items, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start with some art, uh, arts and crafts items. I went to a Dollar Tree in Tampa recently and uh, I was so shocked, so surprised to find a large assortment of different craft products and uh, although I did not actually go in there to purchase those I ended up leaving with a lot of items in from the craft section and I'm sure that you've probably had that experience where you go in for one item and you leave with like 25 all right so let me go ahead and start with the arts and crafts this is and let me go ahead and open them these are actually little wooden cutouts butterflies I'm going to open it so you can see. And they're, they come in a packet of, I want to say 10. Yes, there are 10 pieces in here. This is a great craft project if you're at home with the kids. And, you know, so he, this is what it looks like. It's printed on the back, but on the front, it's plain. That's just a little, um, let me see if I can find another one. That one has a slight blemish, but it doesn't really matter. They're, they're all made of wood. And what you can have the kids do is simply go in, maybe do some dot designs or, you know, design their own little butterfly. If you have multiple children, there's plenty, like I said. There's 10 pieces that come in, in the packet. And if you, if you don't have kids, this is something great for adults to do as well. If you do um, mandala or mandala designs, the the butterfly design is a perfect this is a perfect shape to do the, any kind of dot art on as well or just a simple um, coloring project that you want to do at the end of the day as a little meditation so perfect size so I got some of those and when I do a little a little um, example I will share it with you believe it or not this came from the Dollar Tree and these are little cutouts they're holes. So in this little box with a cover, so you could probably put incense in here and then close it. You could store lots of different items in here, but I was very surprised to find this in the craft section at the Dollar Tree. And you can see that it's a good size box, it's not a teeny little box. So that was there. I have a lot, so I'm going to try not to carry on too long. They had a lot of these little paper mache boxes as well with the cover. 
So if you're into 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 crafty things, especially now, you know that we can't really go out as much as we used to. If you're looking for little crafty things for the kids to do, this is perfect. You could do little mandala designs on the front. You could paint the box any how you wish. I mean, I'm, you're just throwing out ideas there. But again, it's a it's a good size. You can see that's my head. So then it fills fills my hand. So you can see it's a good size box. The, the boxes like that, the paper mache also come in the round. So if you if you prefer the round, you can also do that. And again, each time I see these, I think, you know, circular designs, mandala dot designs on there. But again, you can design it any way you wish. You could also decide to paint one of these and then maybe glue it on or maybe trace the butterfly onto the box. Ooh, that per that's a perfect fit right there. You could trace the butterfly on and then paint it that way. Or just simply glue the butterfly onto here after you're finished. Lots of ideas. That one just popped in. You can actually do that. Let's put that to the side. If you create any kind of maybe perfumes or oils, um, or you're just looking for cute little storage containers for um, maybe you have a lot of glitter and that sort of thing. I found these at the Dollar Tree and I was very surprised to actually find them there because these, they're glass. This is a package of five. They're mini glass containers. Okay. Package of five and they do come with the, the, met, the uh, there's a metal top. That screws on so there's a package of five and then if you're looking for the bigger ones this is a package of four and I want to say these are about two inches in height and again comes with the metal container so you could store um, if your kids make these little um, maybe sand sand art sand art you could uh, use these little bottles for that if you collect uh, maybe crystal chips chip stones would be these would be perfect uh, containers for chip stones Gosh, they're it's endless what you can use these for. I actually got them because I do make a lot of perfumes and infused oils. So I'm going to be using these little glass containers to to store or uh, to create, you know, different perfumes. Alright, so so I got quite a few of them this week. Set that to the side. I showed you the little butterfly wooden cutouts. They also come in the flower shape. So if you're looking for different shapes, they come in that as well. I guess, and this is a package of 10. 10 for a dollar. And there's so, I was just pleasantly surprised at what I found at Dollar Tree. These are little metal containers. You can see they're a good size. And you could probably use these for storing. I don't know. If you make solid perfumes, these would be great for that. But that's a really big, big container for the solid perfumes. They do come in smaller ones. They're a smaller size, package of four. These would be a good size for the solid perfumes. You might want to store your homemade incenses in here, any kind of powders. The ideas are endless. Again, I was very surprised to find these at the Dollar Tree. Package of four, and then the larger ones are a package of two. Let's see. This is a stand for your brushes, for your colored pencils, for pens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. And grab one that I already have set up so that you can see what it looks like but this um, it comes in different pieces like this and you simply put it together but I'm going to stop the video here so that you can see what it looks like when it's all put together but this was a dollar and it is quite sturdy it's a very hard plastic when it is assembled it's it's stuck it's once you put it together it's stuck in there so let me just go ahead and grab that and show it to you so you can have an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so I have the, this is the organizer that I just showed you. Comes in pieces like that. And here it is, already put together. And you can see it is a good size. And I don't have 
everything filled. These are just a couple of my watercolor brushes and a few pens that I have in here, but I still have colored pencils that could easily fit in here, or I could put my paint brushes in here. But I, I, I did buy two because I knew that I have a lot, a lot of paint brushes. And um, but this it keeps it keeps them so organized. So if you're wondering just how it, it once you connect these, it is sealed in there. So it's uh, it's very good. Price one dollar. You can buy organizers like this for much more. So let me go ahead and put this to the side, and then I'm going to continue. Okay. If you've watched any of my Dollar Tree videos before, you know that I absolutely love alkaline water. So this is something I always get from the Dollar Tree. And lately, they've changed it up just a little bit because of um, everything that's been going on in the world. So um, even though they still make these, they now also have another bottle. And I've already opened this one. They do have another bottle. Al alkaline water but it's now been it's now been infused with vitamin C vitamin B1 3 5 and 6 so you're still getting the benefit of alkaline water but now you're getting it with a lot of different vitamins and the bottle has shrunk just a little bit but that's okay because I mean this is still a pretty big bottle for a dollar and I'm pretty sure that um, you but they also still make this size if you if you want to get just this particular size without all of the added vitamin C because you can always take that in a supplement form anyway. But I just wanted to share that with you. Here's another thing that I picked up. These are little jewels and remember the box I showed you, the round box? Can you imagine these being stuck to this box after this is all painted? Maybe maybe this could be painted in like a black color maybe black and then having this particular one here designed all over it the ideas are endless again so but when I saw these I absolutely had to get them because I was thinking not only designing the boxes but if you're into um, like carnival you could design um, put jewels on your face as well these would be perfect for that and they came in the black and white and grays as well as the gold color so I had to pick up some of those of course we didn't get a chance to go to carnival this year but that doesn't mean that we can't dress up for it right I also found these little rub-on uh, transfers I remember having these when I was younger I just love um, putting my name onto things, cutting out the letters, putting them on, rubbing it on. So that's what these are. These are little transfers. Again, from the crafts section, these are little blocks of wood. And uh, I wasn't sure exactly why I picked them up. There are a couple reasons. I had some ideas floating through my head. Um, and I only picked up one. I'm thinking about going back and getting a few more because these would be perfect maybe to make your own um, your own dice or maybe design runes um, I don't know but whatever I come up with I'm gonna let you know I'm going to create something using these and again they're a packet of 36 for a dollar and they're solid wood right there. All right. oh this is another size I did show you the small and the large but they did have a medium size so here we go so you have the small packet of five and then you had the the medium which is a packet of six actually is that right yes the small ones have a package of five these are me oh these are slightly different these have the um the cork top this is a packet of five. These don't come with the screw on. But I thought these would be really neat for storing maybe different herbs that I that I dry. Maybe just put those in there. But they there's so many different uses for these. And again, they're made of glass. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love essential oils. I'm going to share with you a few things that are available at the Dollar Tree. 
especially with you know with what's going on in the world today and with their possible shortage of hand sanitizer these essential oils can be used to make your own hand sanitizer simply by adding maybe some aloe vera gel or um, maybe you have uh, your own lotion that you use you can simply put put these mix it in with your lotion that's one of the things that I do with my immunity blend is I just add it to my lotion so every time I put my lotion on I know that I'm putting on that immunity um, immunity blend as well so at the Dollar Tree you'll find these particular essential oils called Aroma Guru this one is peppermint and peppermint is really good for headaches so if you get a headache you can simply just rub some on the back of your neck and massage that in and that helps to alleviate the headache but you can also add this to um, an, to some of your lotion and massage yourself with it as well tea tree tea tree oil is a great um, immunity uh, it's, it's great for um, what, do, what do you call it what is the term I'm looking for Anyway, it's if you add some of this to your, you could add, add it to your shampoo, it's good for your hair, but it's also good for cleaning. I add this to my any of my cleaning um, cleaning products, and it's great for that as well. Um, anti, it's antiseptic. That's what I the word I was I was thinking of. So you can also add this to some aloe vera gel. You can add it to your lotion. Um, great um, immunity blend right here, or a great immunity uh, essential oil. They also have these two, which are a combination of different essential oils. This particular one is for for muscle pain, and this one has wintergreen. I'm just trying to read. It's got turmeric, nutmeg, black pepper, ginger. Um, I want to say fenugreek, and I think peppermint is in here as well. The writing is really tiny but this is a great blend and it, it, if you're just looking to try essential oils if you're just starting out this is a great way to try them so they have the muscle blend and then there's one for relaxation so at the end of the day after you know to kind of get over all of the stresses this is a great one and one of the essential oils in here is lavender another one is orange and there's also basil in here so if you're looking to just try essential oils, this is a great way to start. And you can find these, yes, at the Dollar Tree. Each of them for a dollar. I was very surprised to go in and see these, and especially see so much of them on the shelf, because I don't think a lot of people realize that you can actually use them um, to make your own sanitizers or use, use to make different cleaning supplies. I saw these and I couldn't resist. I got a couple of them. They do have different designs on them. So I and I, I don't think I have the others here. I think they're in the room. But they come in a little metal box with um not not just a sheet, it's actually a whole, you know, like a whole packet of paper. And it comes with a little pencil. And at the top, it does have a Bible verse, and this particular one caught my attention because it's one of my, va my favorite verses. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. And so that's actually written in there, and then it comes with just like this. So this would be a perfect little gift to give to someone, especially during you know stressful times like this. So I was kind of surprised to see it, and it's, it's written prayer box. So maybe somebody calls you up and say, you know, can you pray for me about such and such? You can easily just write it on there, keep it in the box, and it'll be a reminder that whenever, um, you know, whenever you open it at the end of the day to to pray for whatever's written, um, you know, whatever you have written on there. It's a, a great little reminder, right? So that's a little prayer box, and they do come in different designs as well. Oh, here's another essential oil I wanted to share with you. This particular one is lavender, which is very, very calming, very relaxing. And I did have one more, and I did share the tea tree oil with you as well. All right. I was trying to get organized recently, uh, more organized. I have a lot of different books, and I, um, 
I don't have a, a tall shelf like I like I did before. So I've been getting a few of these. I don't know if you can see. This is a um, a shorter one. I do have a, they do come in different heights, and I do have a bigger one that I've been storing a lot of my books in. But these are such a great way to to get organized. They're a dollar, and uh, let me just go ahead and. Um, Actually, I think I'll do that in another video. I'm going to open them up and I'll show you different ways that you can utilize these particular organizers. I've got so much to share. I love rice cakes and I think I've shared with you in previous videos about different types of rice cakes that I found there. Well, these ones are called um, brown rice cakes with seven super seeds. And uh, let me tell you what the seeds are that are in here. They are amaranth, buckwheat, hemp, quinoa, chia seeds, millet, and flax. So you can see they're written on there. And I, they're quite thin. I bought quite a few of them. They are, they are thin. And I don't know how many actually come in here. It doesn't say, but there's quite a few. Um, if you love rice cakes like I do, this is this is even better than just plain old rice cakes because they've got all of these amazing ancient grains on there. I love chia seeds. I add them to smoothies. Um, hemp seeds, quinoa, flax, they're all really, really good. So if you do go to your local Dollar Tree, check to see if they have these because they, they, they're not... They don't have um, a, a powerful taste. I mean, if you want to add maybe peanut butter on there or top it off with some strawberries or some other fruit, um, yes, go ahead. But to me, they're just great on their own. And that's usually how I eat them is just, just plain. All right, so these, absolutely delicious. I recently found these. These are so beautiful. The one I got before was the the clear I mentioned before that I make my neighbors are enjoying their motorbikes today so I apologize if it gets a little loud I found these ones initially the clear and I mentioned before that I do make a lot of infused oils and a lot of perfumes so I thought these would be perfect to store them in until I'm ready to actually put them into the the smaller bottles or to have you know the oils infusing it does come with one of these kind of tops and it just and it's it's quite sturdy in there so I thought about using these to create some infused oils and perfumes and the the clear was pretty but then I found one that was blue and then but the top was the same it's the same color I thought this was really neat so I went ahead and I picked up of those. Let me go ahead and I'm always checking out the candle section at the Dollar Tree. And I found some really, really nice ones. And the containers were also really pretty. This one, these are soy based candles, and this one is a citrus, um, like an orange with mandarin. And it does, they, they do smell really nice. Mm. But the, the jar, once I'm finished with burning the candle, I can always refill it. Or I, I think it's just big enough that I can put a tea light inside as well. But the, the containers are so pretty. And it's not coming a, across really well. It does have a shimmer to it. It's not just plain yellow. It does have a shimmer to it. And they're all that way. I got the the lavender and this one let me tell you what this is this is a uh, rose quartz it's called rose quartz which is jasmine and uh, let me tell you jasmine and rose water I smell mm, it does smell amazing the jasmine is a little stronger the jasmine is definitely stronger than the rose, but it does smell amazing. And again, they're soy-based candles. Oh, let me find one more. And this one is um, it's called Aquamarine Glaze. And it is called Ocean. It's 
It's supposed to smell like the ocean and sea salt, but it's got a really pretty blue. And again, they have that shimmer on there, but it's not coming across in the in the camera. Maybe maybe it will after I've uploaded it, but it's just so pretty. It has almost like a rainbow shimmer to it. And I can tell you that it does have the it's kind of reminiscent of ocean breeze. It does smell amazing. So I got those three, but I was looking for kind of um like springtime colors, those um Easter colors, and they didn't have the green in that particular shape, but they did have it in this um you can see almost like a mandala design on there. And again, these, these smell amazing. And usually, I don't go for Dollar Tree candles, but these are, oh, that's supposed to be coconut lime. Coconut, I'm pretty sure it says coconut lime. Hmm. And then this one is called um, Pink Horse. And again, you can see that design on the glass. So I got them because of the, the scent. They're really, they do have a nice scent to them, but also the jars, I can reuse them once the candle has burnt up. All right, I have a few more things to share with you. I've seen these boxes there before. Actually, I've seen these boxes there before, um, I, but I've never shared these with you. These ones are actually quite big. You can see, and these were a dollar. And they come with um, again the mandala designs, and I, I absolutely love uh, that. Love mandala designs. I create them myself. Um, but I, when I found these, I thought these were really, really nice. If you, if you do, if you have maybe crystal chips or um, like tiny little, even let me show you. Even these, you could add these into the design to kind of make it your own, or you could just leave it as it is. It's entirely up to you. But I just love that hexagonal shape. You know the the honeycomb. I love that. And then, of course, I love butterflies. And I found this particular one. So I went ahead and got that. And again, it's a box and it is quite deep. So there's just so much. To, these are perfect little gift boxes. If you want to put together like a little care package and ship off to someone, these are perfect. Perfect size. Let me go ahead and put those to the side. You can tell I have a, a combination of different things. It's not just art supplies. Um, I also have some food items, some candle items. I found this recently. And there is a particular um, cracker that I've shared with you before. Um, but I found these. The, the, I think the ones I showed, showed before are the vegetable ones. These ones are made with sesame seed. They're a slightly smaller box than, than the other one. But... Um, I'm going to give these a try and let you know how they taste. I absolutely love sesame seeds. I love sesame seed oil. It is great on my skin. So I want to give these a try and see how these taste. So I wanted to share those with you. One of the little projects that I have planned for, to do um, is a little fairy garden. So I've been gradually collecting the little, um, the little fairy items from the fairy garden items from the Dollar Tree and we share those with you because the Dollar Tree does have quite a bit. Let me put that over here. So what I what I did, let me just take these out. I I bought a one of these little planters and I haven't decided that if I'm going to fill it up with soil and put some actual flowers in here or just keep it completely artificial by, and stuff it with styrofoam. I haven't decided yet. But um, this was a perfect size container. I do have a bigger one. I may actually go bigger. I'm not sure yet. 
but let me share with you some of the items that I did get to um, create the um, the fairy garden. I love these little miniature little artificial succulents, and I didn't realize that these were magnets. If you rip off the paper, they they actually stick to the refrigerator. What I may do is these are going to be used as part of the as part of the fairy garden. So I got a few of these, and they come in different um, different designs. There's that one. And from a distance, they actually look real. Um, and I'm looking into creating um, a succulent garden, a real succulent garden, but this is going to be for the fairy garden that I'm putting together. So I thought about just using these ones here. And then we have this one. And also have this one. So these are a couple of things that I'm going to be working with for the for the fairy garden. So put those here. There are a few more items. This is um a few a set of three gnomes. And then we have this is a little seat, the seating area. So I have a couple of fairies that will actually sit. And then I found this the little entrance, and these are all a dollar. Let's put these back in there. And then we found I found this is like a little um, picnic area. There are two chairs. These are actually two chairs, and then there's a little table. So I thought that was really cute. So that is part of the fairy garden. And then just different little items to add, which is, this is why I'm thinking about getting a bigger pot, because I think this fairy garden is just going to be a lot larger than, um, in my in my mind, it's a lot bigger. So I think I'm going to just end up getting a bigger pot. Um, then I found a few critters. You can see that I don't think there's any way that all of this is going to fit onto that tiny pot without getting kind of crowded and I don't want I don't want it to be crowded. Then of course I found some toadstools, some mushrooms. Mush can't have a fairy garden without mushrooms, right? And I believe that is it for those. I mentioned before that I am an artist and I do a lot of sculptures as well and um the foundation or what I use to create the armature from is wire. And this particular floral wire is perfect to create one particular uh, sculpture. Um, and I can link the um, the video in which I, I use the use wire to create that armature, so that you can see what I um, what I use to actually create what I use this for. And it's very sturdy. If you if you do create um, figurine type sculptures, uh, and your arm and your armature base is wire, this is a great um, a great wire to use. It is not extremely stiff that is going to hurt your hands, but it is sturdy enough uh, as the the base for beginning your your sculpture your sculpture. So I did end up getting. You're not going to see the color, so the color doesn't really matter. But I did end up getting two of them because I have a few sculptures that I'm going to be working on. I found this book that I thought was great. I'm actually vegan, so I I I'm curious about you know the content in here, and I'm actually studying to be a vegan nutritionist right now. So I'll be reading this particular book, and it's amazing the kind of books that you can find at the Dollar Tree. This was again a dollar, um, so. I will let you know just how good this book is or whether it's worth reading. My granddaughter absolutely loves to paint, but I know that sometimes it's kind of hard to, you know, whip out all of the paints and then stress about having to clean up all the time. This one, you actually paint with water. And she loves these as well. So you just give her a cup of water, a brush, and she just loves whenever you add the water over it and see the colors actually emerge and start to blend. So this is one where you paint with water. So if you're looking for, for things with even kids who have um who are young 
that you don't really want to give them a bunch of paint, but you do want them to, you know, be able to enter, kind of entertain themselves. This book is really easy. Um, even if you give them maybe a cotton ball with some water and have them just go over everything, that's just, uh, they're still, you know, having fun doing it, just seeing all of the color emerge. So, but older kids as well would enjoy this. I, I think I was playing with books like this even when I was 12 and 13 years old, so. And I still love it, love working with, with these type of books. So that was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Sketchbooks are a great item, just um, or just a, a doodle pad is what I like to call them because these ones aren't necessarily, the pages are not very thick. Um, because I like to paint on, on my, in my sketchbooks. But this is sturdy enough to do, you know, drawings and maybe a little bit of watercolor, not too much. But I wouldn't do any kind of heavy painting in here. The pages also come out very easily, so if you want to, um, that's why I don't really do a lot of heavy, heavy painting. This is more like for doodling or if I have an idea that just popped into my head, I will grab this and I will quickly jot it down. So not for heavy, heavy painting, although although it says uh, uh, well actually it says for dry media but if you're doing like very very um, light watercolor for example the pens that I showed you earlier the watercolor pens those can simply those can be used on here with with no problem whatsoever but anything heavier than that I would not use but I do love these um, these sketch pads they are 40 sheets and also from the Dollar Tree I mentioned that I use the wire for for the framework for the um, my sculptures. One of the things I also use a lot of is the uh, aluminum foil, and a lot of the times when I'm creating the sculpture itself, it's really hard to stop and then rip a piece to continue building. These are actually just sheets, and the top of it there's a perforation. So each time I need a sheet, I just pull it up, pull it up, and I don't have to worry about ripping uh, unless I need the, that particular sheet to be smaller. In that case, then I'll rip it. But when when you're working, building, you know, building up on a on an armature, the sheets. If you work with a material called popper pole, or if you're building any kind of armature and you work with the aluminum foil, these are just perfect. A per, this is a perfect way to. To work with it because you don't have to stop and stop and cut or stop and rip. I I create what's called power pole sculptures and power pole is um, a textile hardener and I can link a couple of those videos as well or you can just you know do the search yourself and find them and you'll see why aluminum foil is used. What I can do is I can probably do a live stream. Actually, I think I've done a live stream where I've shared building um, building a sculpture from scratch using the um, using the wire and then the aluminum foil. So I can share those as well. But this is an easy way to do that. It kind of I means if you're if you use aluminum foil in the kitchen as well. You know, this is a great way to go. I know you probably get more material on the roll, but for sculpture purposes, this is what I prefer to go with. I didn't think this video was going to be this long, but I do have a lot of items to share, and I hope that you're enjoying it. I mentioned before that the Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game when it comes to natural products and um, body products, that sort of thing. When I went recently, I found these items and I, I was really shocked to find them there, to be honest. These are Epsom salts with herbs already mixed in. This is Epsom salts with chamomile. This is Epsom salts with rose petals. And this is Epsom salt with the lavender. 
and these again were a dollar. I've bought plain Epsom salts before, which has nothing, and I still get that because I use the Epsom salts to wash my clothes with. But this is um, 17, 17 and a half ounces, which is uh, the regular Epsom salt comes in a one pound package. So for even more, 17 and a half ounces, you, you're still paying a dollar, but these are designed for as being bath salts where you just pour it into your tub to some hot water and you just lay there and you re you relax and you can add some Epsom salts if you not Epsom salts you can add some essential oils if you want um, I don't think there's ep there's essential oils in here but these are no there's no essential oils but these are all sulfate free so you're looking at Epsom salts to get your magnesium benefits and lavender relaxation It's just, you can't go wrong with these. You cannot go wrong. So I got quite a few. And those are great as a, you can see that they're, the packaging is just really neat as well. You could put this together into maybe this box. Set that in there. Maybe put a couple um, little bottles of the essential oil. And um, I don't know, maybe a couple small snacks in here. And that would be a great little self-care package that you can mail off to someone you know put this into another box and just seal it off that's a great little package that box is and it's quite deep enough you can add quite a few different things in there maybe that's a video that I could do if you're interested in seeing in seeing that let me know because I can put together some gifts some self-care packaging ideas to share with you. All right, let me see what else we have. More tea tree oil. I did buy quite a few. My son absolutely loves, and I couldn't tell him that I actually got these because they probably wouldn't be here for the video. But he loves jerky, and in this time period that we're going through, this these are really good snacks to have around. Um, I keep keep these and then I also have things like peanuts and you saw the crackers I do um, typically not use a lot of canned foods but I have been purchasing uh, canned canned foods as well and Dollar Tree does have a wide assortment and at a great price so um, but my son absolutely loves these and he's sitting in front of me right now playing his video game I did tell him to shh while I record and the minute I said jerky he turned his head and looked he loves these, so I picked up a few of these as well. Snacks that I absolutely love are these, the acai and the blueberry with the dark chocolate, and I think I picked up a couple of them. They do come in, um, they do have one that has pomegranate and, uh, and um, the dark chocolate. But this time they only had the one with the acai and blueberry, so I went ahead and picked up two of those. Recently, I was walking through and I found these. These, um, it's rice, jasmine rice, and this particular one has cilantro and lime. But you can find the ones with, which is jasmine rice and red beans. And I think there's one more, but the flavor of this jasmine rice with the cilantro and lime is amazing. It is so delicious, and it it looks like maybe a serv serving for one, but you can probably get two two servings out of here. And it is um it's a good size container for um for a dollar. You can heat this up in the microwave. I don't because we don't have a microwave. So I just pop it out of here into um, onto into the pot with a tiny amount of water and just put it on very low heat for it to heat up. It is already cooked, but the flavor and if you like tacos, um, add this to tacos. Um, put some um, what you call it uh, refried beans on top of it. Oh my gosh, it is so good, so good. So if you've never tried these. 
um, and you see them in your local dollar store, go ahead or Dollar Tree, go ahead and and pick them up. Give them a try. I mean, there's so much that you can do with them. All right. Put that over there. I did mention jerky before. There are a couple others. They do have a wide assortment of, of different jerky. And again, I did pick up some more. Um, this was an an another trip. I picked up a few more figurines for my fairy garden. Which is why, again, I'm saying that I don't think that pot is going to be big enough. I think I'm going to need a bigger pot to create my fairy garden that I have in mind. And here are a few more of the gnomes. Oh, here are a few more critters. Some deer, a deer, a rabbit, and I believe that's a cardinal. Yes. And these are a dollar. I do have a little um, container garden on the outside. And uh, the, there's a rose bush that desperately needs some pruning. But I did not know what I... I totally lost my... Um, my pruning shares have no idea what I did with them, so I went ahead and purchased one. And this is a great, I mean, it works so well. And for a buck, you can't go wrong, All right? If you, if you do wear makeup, one of the things with me is I can never find the perfect powder shade. So I typically end up making some, and it's really easy to make just using, uh, if you have cacao powder, um, if you have some arrowroot powder, and there's um, one other thing that I use. It does take some time to kind of blend your perfect um, loose powder, but if you don't have time for all of that, Dollar Tree does carry. What I did, I picked up two different shades, a fairly dark shade and a light shade, and that way I can easily just blend until I get the perfect color for my skin because it's so hard to try to find the perfect shade of loose powder so and for a dollar you can't can't go wrong right you make sure that I the Dollar Tree had a lot of Easter candy on sale I think it was like four for a dollar. So I ended up picking up quite a few of these eggs. And these are not just chocolate. These are actually filled with peanut butter, which is good because I love peanut butter. Um, so I picked up a few of those. But everything that was Easter, any, can any candy that was Easter was on sale for four dollars. So I ended up picking up four, four of those, two of them with the... Um, the white white chocolate and but they all have the peanut butter on the inside. I'm not sure if I talked about this in previous videos, but recently Dollar Tree has been carrying jasmine rice, and this package I think is a pound. This is a one pound bag. It is non-GMO and it is gluten free. So if you're looking for items like this, the Dollar Tree does carry it, and you I mean, you can get a lot of meals out of here. I mean, depending on how many people you're cooking for in the family, right? But this is a, it's a one pound bag for a dollar. Jasmine rice, non-GMO, and it's gluten free. Just trying to make sure that I, think I have one more item. I picked these up recently just to give them a, sh a try. It kind of caught my attention as I was leaving. These are made from oats, cranberries, and uh, orange. So I'm going to try these out and I will let you know how they taste. I've been going to the grocery store once a week. We actually make a trip to I think three different stores um, each Friday and the Dollar Tree is one of them and um, I've been putting together different things just to kind of share with you. If there's if there are items on here that you'd like for me to talk about a little bit more, please post them in the comment section below. I know a lot of people aren't familiar with essential oils, or you might be familiar with essential oils, but not 
know how to work with them, um, let me know and I can talk a little bit more about those in another video. If there are things that I mentioned that you, um, what, 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 am I, what I'm going to do is I will definitely do a few craft projects to show you how I utilize some of the items, the craft items that I, I got. And then I'll also do one showing you how I how I worked with these because um, I'm going to be making quite a few perfume, quite a few perfumes, and um, I think I'll also be using them maybe to store like incense in as well. I know I mentioned some of the other ones, but I think I may be making some hard, some solid perfumes. I'm thinking about that. It it's getting to where. Um, you know, summertime is approaching, so solid perfumes may not necessarily be the best to be carrying around because they could actually melt under intense heat. So, but I would, I would definitely share with you what I use these for. I will create some, um, some videos to show what these can be used for. And if you already have these, maybe you want to give me some ideas simply by posting them in the comment section below. But this is such a great deal. Glass container, glass containers with a little metal top and it's four for a dollar for the big ones. So I thought that was great. I do believe that that is everything that I wanted to share. I think actually, no. A couple more items and then we'll be finished. Like I mentioned before, I do make a lot of infused oils and this, I found this blue bottle. I did get the clear ones before. So I have two clear bottles that I use for fire cider that are in the refrigerator, but I love the shade of this, this blue. So I'm going to be making some more um, perfumes, a large batch, storing it in here, and then I can um, empty from here into the smaller containers. But isn't that a pretty color? So if you're looking for bottles to store, maybe you do your homemade soda or homemade drinks, homemade wine. These are absolutely gorgeous. So I did pick up that one and I picked up some bulbs as well because I've had a lot of success growing bulbs that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I did find these ones. Let me grab them for you. These ones, these are some irises. They're four. And then these are some freesia. And I absolutely love freesia essential oil. So I'm going to see if I can grow these. I don't know how successful I'd be because I've I haven't grown these before, but I've certainly grown a lot of the the bulbs and seeds that I found from the Dollar Tree. So, and then here's one that I've never heard of before called Tigridia. It's really pretty, but I've never heard of it before. But I'm going to give it a shot. And there are typically three to four bulbs that come in there. I also picked up some markers and then the last item that I wanted to share with you were these is this this is a bamboo bamboo toothbrush and it's infused with charcoal so if you're looking for environmentally friendly eco-friendly this is a great way to go and if you've been try wanting to try charcoal infused products charcoal toothbrush would be great they also Dollar Tree also carries a lot of um, of charcoal products they, they do have charcoal toothpaste they have a charcoal um, scrub lots of different charcoal items so if you're looking to just start out um, on using the activated charcoal Dollar Tree is a great way to go so just check out those items there Wow, that was a lot more than I thought it was going to be, but I do appreciate you sticking with me throughout uh, this video. Thank you for sharing this time with me. If you do have any questions about any of the items that I shared with you, please do not hesitate to post a comment in the comment section below and I will respond as quickly as possible. If you would like to see um, more videos like this, um, just simply say so. If you'd like to uh, see different craft ideas using the items that I shared with you, please let me know as well. I want to share, um, you know, videos with you that you want to see, not necessarily stuff that I 
feel like sharing with you. I do uh, appreciate my viewers' um, opinions, and I I love your feedback. So please, you know, leave me a comment, leave me a question, and I will certainly respond as well. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if you are not uh, a part of the family, I would love to have you join simply by clicking the red button that you see below. Also, if you click that little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. Thank you again for sharing this time with me, and I will see you again on the next video.